Romans 13. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God, the powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For if he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that do, does evil. Wherefore you must needs be subject, not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. For this cause pay ye tribute also, for they are God's ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. Render therefore to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due. The rings of Jesus uh, speaking to the give unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. Owe no man anything but to love one another, for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. That's what I want to focus on. Uh, verse 8. For this thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear foul false witness, thou shalt not covet, and if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love worketh no evil, no ill to his neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. Not loving people replaces the law, but love is literally walking out the commandments. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now our salvation nearer than we believed, when we believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Owe no man anything, for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. It's not a replacement. It's what it is. For this, and he quotes the Ten Commandments, because the Ten Commandments are what are the foundation of love, the foundation of God's law, a reflection of his character and the foundation of his throne. Thy throne, O God, is forever, and God is love.